Hi, I've just begun grading the charters and uh, I found, or at least the discussion of the charters, and I begin to um, see that some of you favor the um, scope as um, uh, the part of the charter that made the most sense to you or gave you the most benefit. Some of you looked at the milestones and said that was the most important. And that leads me to today's video where we're about to go into work breakdown structure and I want to tie that scope to the work breakdown structure. And, but also want to sort of avoid a uh, common misconception. A number of students over the time have said, oh yeah, I like the work, work breakdown structure. I already do this, I do to-do lists. A to-do list is not a work breakdown structure. So how is a work breakdown structure different from a to-do list? So um, this is a, a work breakdown structure, and, and I know you can't read, the font is too small, but I just took screenshots of, of a work breakdown structure for my project for this semester, which is the Bike the Trace prep plan. And, um, and so here it is. So is it the same? Is this a to-do list? I mean, you, you see all these different tasks here, because they, they are tasks, they're not just words, they really are uh, work. So is it the same? And I say, no, it's not the same. And hopefully you have noticed that the work breakdown structure is structured. And, um, and that helps, and it helps in a number of ways. It, it helps you uh, avoid leaving some key tasks out. It also gives you um, a place to start in terms of what is more important or maybe what happens uh, in what order which a, just a, a to-do list uh, does not normally do that. So uh, that's, a, that's a benefit, I think a major benefit of work breakdown structure, but we can take it a little bit further. So here, so far, I've compared it with your um, uh, milestone list on your charter, and certainly you'd want to compare milestone lists um, with um, the work breakdown structure. So uh, I've, I've now, um, shrunk it down a little bit more and pulled on my charter for my project. And the idea here is that you can pull up your charter, sort of lay it alongside the work breakdown structure and say, do they match? Do I have, have I included everything that was supposed to be included in the uh, charter? Is that included in the work breakdown structure? And conversely, am I including activities in the work breakdown structure that um, either I didn't say I was going to do, or maybe even said I wouldn't do in the charter. So here you get a chance to verify the work breakdown structure of saying, yes, I covered everything I was supposed to, or no, I didn't and I need to change it, or maybe you even need to go back and change the charter because you've left something out when you were first doing that. In mine, uh, I noticed that actually in my milestones, uh, I included more than the actual trip planning uh, or, or, or the trip parts, but some of the planning issues like uh, a process map, uh, cause and effect diagram, uh, failure modes and effects analysis, and so on. Well, when I created my work breakdown structure, I was thinking more about the trip and less about the plan. It's easy sometimes, especially when you have a project that's about a plan, to, to leave these out. So I'll have to go back in and revise my work breakdown structure uh, based on uh, my comparison with my charter. So that's one, um, I'd like to challenge you to do that when you look at your work breakdown structure. Once you think you have it set, go back and look at your charter and compare and see if I left something out or do I have uh, activities that, that don't belong. I'm not gonna completely go through mine uh, for you here. I, I, I believe everything I have on the, um, uh, WS actually does belong uh, based on the charter, but I've left some uh, tasks out. So that's why it's different. Um, a work breakdown structure is actually, in project management, a work breakdown structure is better than a to-do list because it's structured and because it's verified, which basically means it's scoped. Hope this helps and I hope it will help you improve not only your work breakdown structure creation, but help your project management planning. Thanks.